Hi, Chris Burke, how are you doing? Not too bad, thank you. Sounded very, very good. <laughs> Mary didn't pay me to say this either. Um, and you're our only one audience member no, this no. evening. <laughs> this show was a farce, actually. It was just for Chris. <laughs> Take a private gig any day of the week. We are on our way to Bristol from Liverpool and just stopped at another service station. I might have had to get a Red Bull because yeah, not much, uh, not much sleep after a show. We weren't partying. <laughs> we were literally just like packing up the van, um, getting back. It was quite a long drive back to the hotel. And then yeah, call time was quite early this morning so that we all had a group breakfast and then packed up the van and we were on the road by 10.30. So we were up at eight. So yeah, like five hours sleep and then, yeah, it's, it's just the worrying thing is more about it compounding, not the fact of one night bad sleep, but like, yeah, just gotta keep going. So yeah, cheeky Red Bull and Neurofen. <laughs> Another port city down in the southwest of England, Bristol was my home for the best part of 10 years. I went to university here and stayed on after graduating. It's a special place to me. It's where I met some of my best friends, had some formative life experiences, and wrote many of my songs. Mary, yes. where are we? We're at St. George's in Bristol. <laughs> my old hometown. You said everything, Mary. <laughs> this is St. George's. It's mostly a classical music venue, one I know very well. I've performed on its stage before in orchestras and chamber choirs when I was studying music at university. And I also worked behind the scenes as a part-time finance assistant after graduating. If you've never been, Bristol is a fantastic place. It's twice been named the best city to live in in the UK with a large youth population thanks to its two universities and a rich arts and music scene, as well as many independent businesses, restaurants and its aerospace, broadcasting and film and TV industries. If you're enjoying my content, one of the best ways to support the channel is by subscribing to my free newsletter. You'll be the first to hear about my upcoming tours and other exciting updates. Now, let's dive back into the vlog. I have the room to myself right now. And I've just been told we are expecting about 250 people. Hello, Two Rock, gorgeous Two Rock. And well, Vlogging has been sort of the least of my worries um, just because we have been just trying to get the show on the road, literally. We left Liverpool at about 10 this morning and we arrived in Bristol at 3.40. We got stuck in traffic and it was a little bit of a, a little bit of a headache, but we all stayed calm actually. And then we've been taken care of here in St. George's. They've been amazing. Load in was very smooth. We have some tech going on over here with Ableton running the tracks. I've got my two rock that I'm loaned by Peach Guitars and a super sexy drum skin on a super sexy drum kit in a super sexy venue. And uh, yeah, tonight is gonna be a really special evening. Lots of friends coming. And I guess I better go and get some food get changed, put my makeup on, say hi to some friends, and then we do the show. So I'm going on stage, I'm just, I just plug in, I 
in tune. Well, I don't need to tune. I'm tuned. And I just sing. It's eight o'clock. Yeah. Okay. I think we're um, we're ready. Stage lights, please, Jess. Okay, I've got you. the unhinged songs of this evening. Uh, this one is called Darling, You Need Therapy. <laughs> special show, a homecoming of sorts with my close friends and family in the audience. The acoustics of the space are just fantastic. It's a beautiful venue and we all felt a bit more comfortable in our performance having got the first show out the way. Very calm, very calm. Ooh, you oh my God. Go ahead. Yes. I can hear them. Goodbye, St. 
both bar I gave it both barrels. My brother said that I had my bro this is all I've ever wanted, my brother's affection. <laughs> he finally said I've done a good job. I've done it I've done an okay job. <laughs> oh, by St. George's. I used to walk up these stairs going to work. Already set up for tomorrow. Just helping Mark with the van. Oh, uh, slowly, slowly does it. Turn, 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 turn. Oh, stop, 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 stop. It's raining in Bristol, obviously. <laughs> Got rained on post-show, but my God, what a night. I can't describe the feeling of that show. Be sure to stay tuned for the next stop on the tour, London.